Well, there's a retail center that has been serving the east end of the Coachella Valley for five generations. It's quite the impressive accomplishment, to say the least. Well, our Steve Summerall explores the Indio Yellow Mart, a proud part of our desert past. Today I'm in Indio, and I've got a question for you. What's the difference between Woolworth, Stemco, and Yellow Mart? Well, that's easy. Yellow Mart is still here. When uh, Brockman was living here, uh, Clark got a hold of him and says, hey, I've got some leather jackets and some khaki pants. Do you think they would sell? Mark Jernigan describes the origins of his business, the popular Indio retail center known as Yellow Mart. The men he mentioned are Don Clark and Ray Brockman, childhood friends from Marseille, Illinois. He drove down here from Berkeley. He was uh, working on getting his uh, master's in, uh, at Berkeley. They went in and they started selling the surplus. And that grew into the surplus department store. Yes, what is now Yellow Mart was originally a surplus store. In fact, after World War II, there was an abundance of surplus stores. Many of them, like Yellow Mart, evolved into successful retail chains. Uh, you have like Miller's Outpost, a name that's now gone that we, that we hadn't talked about. That was a surplus store. Um, Grant Brothers uh, out of, I think, uh, LA area was another surplus store. Clark and Brockman's surplus store was opened in an abandoned card room in Indio on February 1st, 1946. They laid out about $800 worth of merchandise. After selling off their entire inventory, they had made a profit of about $1,800. But as time is revealed, Yellow Mart's greatest reward has been the respect shown to them by the communities of the east end of the valley. It's been built by the residents of, of this great city of Indio, um, the residents of uh, Coachella, just this whole end of the valley is what has kept this business going for years. And although Clark and Brockman were the first owners of Yellow Mart, they would not be the last. The Freestads, Dick Freestad, uh, Russ Freestad, uh, Ernie Felix, uh, John Freestad, those were the second group of, of owners. And that led into the Jernigan family purchasing uh, the Yellow Mart here in Indio. Also worth mentioning is Willie Lewis, the beloved store clerk whose employment lasted through all three ownerships. He was a, a great man. Everybody would see him back in the shoe department normally, big smile on his face, always there to help. And the customers would come in and, and still ask for Willie, even in his passing. So what can you find here? There is fashion, there are sporting goods, and if you're an avid Hutzman, the heads mounted on the wall will remind you that you're in the right place. Yellow Mart has firearms, crossbows, camping gear. Plus so much camouflage, you don't even see me in this shot. Amazing. And another example of Yellow Mart's commitment to the community are the available merchandise bearing the logos of the sports teams of local schools. We do like the Letterman's jackets for like uh, Coachella Valley High School, La Quinta High School, Palm Desert High School, uh, Shadow Hills, most of the uh, high schools that are on this end of the valley. We also do quite a few different elementary schools for school uniforms and whatnot. We're a one-stop place where you come in for one thing, you'll find yourself in a whole different section, find in a present from yourself to yourself at times. We're the place where memories begin. The first fishing pole, uh, the first tent for a camp out, um, that first day on a job, the first pair, pair of work boots. We're lucky enough to be that for this valley. For our desert past, Steve Sumrall, NBC Palm Springs, News First.